Hello everyone! Today's Mustard Tree Creative Session is paint pouring, so if you like the look of these then please keep watching. For this one you'll need a tray or something that can catch the paint as it pours, some newspaper to help with the mess, some little pots, I'm using these ramekins but you could use old yoghurt pots, some water and I'm using a canvas board as the base of the painting but you could use a tile or a piece of wood. Something to mix the paint with, I'm using lollipop sticks. Then you need something which is going to be able to raise your artwork up while you're doing the pouring so I'm using this old pot but you could really use anything. Acrylic paint in colours of your choice and finally PVA glue. First up we're going to mix up our paints into a pouring consistency so for this stage we need the paint, some water, the pots, something to stir with and the glue. I'm just going to start by mixing the acrylic paint into a colour that I'm happy with. I'm not using too much because my canvas board is quite small but if you're going to be making a bigger artwork then I would recommend pouring out more paint than this. Once I'm happy with the colour, I'm going to go in and add the PVA glue. You want about a 50-50 ratio here, so that's the same amount of PVA as acrylic paint. Then you just want to give that a good mix. It might start to look a bit lighter than the colour that you've chosen, but PVA dries clear, so it should go back to its original colour. It's actually best if you mix quite slowly. I know that it looks like I'm mixing really fast, but I have sped up the clip. You just don't want to be making too many air bubbles. So just go ahead and repeat this process for as many colors as you're wanting to use. I ended up using four. Just be mindful that these colors should be colors which you like the look of together because they will all kind of be blending together in the final artwork. So at this point your paint is still going to be too thick for the activity so we need to thin it down a bit by adding water just a little bit at a time and you just want to add a few drops, stir and repeat until it's at a pouring consistency. So you can see in the video that I'm checking the consistency by lifting the lollipop stick and watching as the paint kind of pours off it. And what we're looking for is a nice, easy, even pour without it being too watery. So again, you're just repeating this process with every colour. If you do add too much water and you feel like it's gone too watery, it's easy to retrace your steps by just adding more PVA glue and maybe even a bit more of the paint. Once they're all ready, you just want to set up your space with newspaper underneath because it can get quite messy. On top of the tray, I just want to pop that pot down, which I'm using as a riser for my board. And I'm also going to use a fifth ramekin at this stage. The next thing I'm going to do is just quickly pour a base coat down onto my canvas board. You don't need to coat the whole board but it's just good to get some paint down there. It just means that there's more fluidity when you come to actually pouring the colours on. So to make the marbling effect I'm going to pour the pouring paints into the empty ramekin. I'm just going to pour one blob in at a time and as you can see it starts to make these rings of colour. If you have mixed the wrong consistency then this is where you'll be able to see. If it's too thick it won't pour and if it's too thin your paint will start to mix rather than making these clear rings of colour.
the ramekin's getting quite full here so I'm just going to pick it up and pour it over the board and this is where you can see the marbling pattern start to take effect. I just kind of did this at random but you do have some control if you wanted to kind of influence the shapes that you're going to be making. Then I'm just going to gently pick up my canvas board and slowly tilt it so that the colour can reach the corners and as you can see this obviously affects the pattern so you don't want to do this too much or your colours will all kind of merge into one. At this point I didn't want to stretch the paint any thinner on the canvas so I made up another batch of the pouring paint and then filled in the gaps. Once you're happy with your painting, just leave it to dry somewhere that is flat and somewhere where it's safe to keep dripping off the edges. It may take a couple of days to dry because the paint is so thick. Here's one that I made a few days ago just for reference. I hope you've enjoyed paint pouring today. As always, let us know how you got on and send us any pictures if you've tried this at home.